Hey guys, welcome back. This is Professor Hank, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to format text file output. Okay, so what do I mean? Right, so if you want to write to a text file and you want to have it formatted a certain way, right? So you want to write numbers to your text file and you want to have only so many decimal places or if you want to have everything arranged in the text file in nice uh, neat columns um, this is what we're talking about okay and so the way that you format output to a text file is basically the same way you do it when you write to the console right when you when you format stuff to the screen Okay, you want to have so many decimal places for your numbers on the screen. You want to have fields that are so wide, right? It works the same way. So we can write to a text file, text, uh, using IO manipulators the exact same way that you would do it on the screen. It's the same, right? It works the exact same. And point three is it really is that easy. So for some reason, I have several students every semester when they're working with files, they're just, they just freak out. Their brain just shuts off, right? And when I'm teaching text files and I'm, I'm saying, look, you already know how to do this, right? Because you can use C out to write to the screen. You can use set precision and um, set W to format stuff on the screen using C out. Well, it's the exact same way with files and, and people just freak the hell out. They do, they, it just does not compute for some reason. They think, oh my God, it's a file. What do I do? My brain just melts. <laughs> writing to a text file is exactly the same as writing to the screen. All you've done is change the destination, right? Instead of a screen, it's the file. That's it, that's it, that's it. Stop fighting it. <laughs> okay, stop it, stop it, stop. Right. Anyway, so let's write a program here to, to show you what we're talking okay. about. Okay. So we've got IO stream, right? You know, this is for C out and all those other things, right? IO minip for our set precision operators, our fixed operators, um, our set W operators, etc. And uh, F stream, so we can have access to OF stream, right? So the whole point of this. Uh, is to show you that, yeah, you know, we can, you know, write to a text file in the exact same way that you would on the screen, okay? So let me just give you, we'll, we'll start off by doing something writing to the screen first, right? And then I'm going to show you it's the exact same way, okay? So let's say that I had um, a set of numbers, right? So let's say D equals 3.24, E equals uh, 1.5, and um, f equals 3.753, right? And you wanted to show those three numbers on the screen, and you wanted to format them all to uh, three, or to one decimal place of precision, okay? We'll, we'll call it one decimal place. So you'd use set precision, right? And you'd give it one, and you'd also have to use the fixed manipulator um, because it's got to be fixed point notation. Um, and we have to actually set, spell set precision correctly, don't we? Okay, so set precision. Okay, and then from there, I could um, do my numbers. Okay, but I want to space them out. Okay, so I'm going to use the set W um, manipulator. Okay, and don't forget if you want to make them all nice, a nice, you know, all nice and spaced out, then you want to format the first field as well, right? So um, we'll go ahead and I don't know, make these um, I don't know, ten um, characters wide. I'm just pulling that out of my keyster. Oops. Okay. A lot of times people forget to do that first column, I guess you could say. Okay, so 
We got that, and we'll just run it to see what it looks like. Right, so you can see everybody's nice and formatted to uh, one decimal place, okay, and spread out. So let's add uh, a few more numbers too, because we'll make we'll make like a little table. We'll make it tabular. How about that? Um, so we'll make it look something like this. Uh, G equals uh, three point one four one five nine. Uh, G H equals 2.77 and I equals, um, I don't know, 4.15. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll um, do a similar thing uh, with the second row, as it were. Okay. And then you'll see, you know, what we're going for here. Just to show you, look, we're formatting this. Everything's nice and lined up we got two rows you know everybody's formatted to one decimal place everything's spaced out nicely we did it on the screen okay um, and now my claim is that it's the exact same for going to a file right and and it is okay what i'm going to do here is i'm going to open a file for writing by creating an of stream object i'll call it fout okay and then I'll attempt to open the file for writing. Um, so we'll say file open, and I'll just write it to a file called numbers.txt. Okay. And so, you know, we can't just automatically assume that the file is going to be open because you can always get, you know, the operating system could always say no. So we're going to verify that the file actually opened. And if it did, then we'll process our file and close it. Otherwise, uh, we'll print some kind of error message, right? See how uh, error opening file or whatever, right? Now we're not gonna have a problem opening the file because, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and you know, write the file onto my hard drive in a place that I have write permission. So we're not gonna have any kind of issues. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll follow good practice. Now, uh, once I've got the file open, Right? Instead of putting stuff on the screen, okay, all I'm going to do is change my destination. Okay, so instead of going to C out, so going to the console, I'm going to go to my file. I'm going to the output file stream. That's where I'm going to write all of the data. Right? Instead of going to the console output stream, I'm going to go to my file output stream. Okay, so I'm going to run this. And you're not going to see anything in the output. Why not? Because I didn't put it on the output screen, right? I didn't put it on the console, right? I didn't put it on the screen. I sent it to a file instead. So what we got to go do now is we got to go take a look at the contents of that file. Okay. So I'll just open it um, from, I'll just open it from uh, Visual Studio, right? And so uh, Visual Studio by default, unless you tell it to put, you know, your output files somewhere else, it puts it in the same location as your source code file. And so here is the file that got created, numbers.txt, and I'll just open it from within Visual Studio so that way you can see it. And you can see there's the contents of the file, right? Now, if I was to open this with Notepad, um, I'll go ahead and switch over to Notepad, and you'll see that's going to show you the exact same thing. Okay, so let's go, let's go open it up. Okay, so I made the folder called VS Demo. There's numbers.txt. So I'm gonna open it on up, All right? So there's the output formatted just like it would have appeared on the screen, right? So you can see it in uh, both locations, right? In both, both, uh, both in Visual Studio and in um, Notepad. So that's the contents of the text file. And um, you know, so writing, formatting output to a file is the exact same as doing it to the screen. It's just that all we've done is changed the destination of where the output's going. Instead of putting it on the screen, 
we put it in a file. That's it. Otherwise, it works the exact same. Now, look, if I change uh, that name from Fout to C out, now I'm putting stuff back on the screen. It works the exact same. Stop freaking out, those of you who are my students, about files. It's the same. It works the exact same. Okay, all you have to do is change where you want the output to go instead of going to the screen have it go to the file that's it there's no there's no difference okay so let's go back over and look at the contents of uh let's re reload uh, the uh, numbers.txt and show you that i'm not lying to you it's the same okay anyway that's all i wanted to show you in this video hopefully that helps out uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Okay, so that's going to bring this video to a close. If you felt that the video was useful, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. And if you thought that the video sucked, well, then you've got that thumbs down button as an option as well. If you'd like to see more videos, if you're interested in more content from the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, if you're a student of mine, and you have further questions, feel free to drop me an email or to stop by my office hours. Okay, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.